Only on six, we're giving you a look inside the USS Batfish in Muskogee after floodwaters rushed inside parts of the World War II submarine. News on Six's Tess Monty joins us with a look at that exclusive video. Tess? Leanne, Dave, some parts of the highly decorated war submarine had up to five feet of water inside, but workers at the USS Batfish War Memorial Park say it is in good shape for the most part as it starts to dry out from that historic flooding. Staff gave News on 6 storm tracker Darren Stevens a tour inside. You're looking at that video now. Workers have spent the past few days pumping water out of the submarine. They say they closed all the watertight bulkheads, but there were a few holes they couldn't get plugged before the flood. So several areas, including the lower torpedo and forward battery compartment filled with water. At the peak of the flood, you might remember the batfish started floating after the concrete piers holding it in place lifted it out of the ground or lifted out of the ground. A few of the cables are what kept it from being carried away. There were still some cables in place. Amazingly, when the water receded, it set back down upright, almost exactly like it needed to. Right now, the museum is working with engineers to make sure the batfish is safe, and workers say it will take time and money to clean up and make all the repairs needed. An online fundraiser has been set up to help pay for some of those repairs, and we've linked that to our News on 6 app. Tess Monty, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.